What's going on dudes, it is Colossalus here, welcome back to another Heroes of the Storm video. I have no idea where I'll be saying this intro, so let's go freestyle. And uh, today we'll be playing Gul'dan, the, the Darkness Incarnate, I think that's what, that, that's what his nickname is in the game. Uh, he is a ranged assassin from the um, Warcraft universe. He came out pretty recently, right after Medivh, so it was Chromie, Medivh, Gul'dan, so three heroes ago, right? Zarya, Alarak, Oriel, yeah, and then Gul'dan. So it was three heroes ago he came out. Actually, tomorrow is Samuro Day, so I'm going to be training that mother flipper. Uh, but yeah, he came out, he was pretty weak. Uh, his um, his win rate was kind of circling around 35-40%. to 40 percent. Uh, They buffed him. They buffed him like twice. Uh, it was very small buffs, but very, very um, noticeable in his damage output and in his overall playstyle. So today we will be going for like, like a, his best build, uh, but I'll be, but we will be adjusting as we go as well with with with, him, with some of his talent because they are very, very nice and you can very, very nicely fit into the game that you're playing. So let's go. I will not be denied. Yeah, man. All right, boys and girls, we find ourselves on the Braxis holdout. Is that what it's called? Braxis holdout? Just a stupid name. <laughs> I don't know, it just came to me. Um, on level range 1, we're going to go for Echoed Corruption. This is going to buff our E ability. Alright, let's explain his abilities. His E, his Q ability is called Fell Flame. It's just this quick shot in front of you, this skill shot in front of you that's very quick traveling and it deals just a little bit of damage. It's only a 1.5 second cooldown, which means you'll be able to spam the shit out of this. But it is on a 75 mana cost. His W ability is called Drain Life. You're able to drain life from an enemy. Uh, you'll be dealing a little bit of damage over 3 seconds. Uh, dealing 170, uh, 137 damage at level one, and uh, 90, uh, and basically stealing 196. So you'll be stealing more than you'll be dealing damage. And our E ability is just weird skill shot you can see right there. There's those it's three three circles that if somebody will stay in it, they'll be take, taking some damage over time. If they stay in all three circles, they're gonna deal a buffed up uh, amount of damage for the for the for those three for, for you know for uh, for that amount of time. So here is Nova. I'm gonna start trying to steal life from her. So you can see she went into that circle, and what happened is she's gonna be taking a little bit of damage over time. Super cool, super cool so far. All right, I'm gonna be stealing some health off of that Nova. Um, so the one uh, the closest to you is going to be going, uh, you know, is going going to be going first, and then the one farthest to you is going to be is going to be going last. So you, you can you can time your skill shot for some nice nice combos, you know, allowing you to uh, really deal massive amounts of uh, of you know of uh, damage over time. You can see there another one, for almost timed perfectly, and if somebody is running away from you, they're they're going to be stepping into all three of them at the same time. Which is pretty damn cool. Uh, I'm looking for that Nova. Not, I'm not sure where she is. Uh, and his trait is called Life Tap. You, you basically just sacrifice a little bit of life for 25. Ooh, that triple hit on that Nova. You can see how damaged she is. And she's just retreating right now like a little beach. Um, yeah, so you basically uh, sacrifice a little bit of life for 25% of your total um, mana, which is pretty freaking cool if you ask me. I'm trying. I'm gonna try to do some some damage to this uh, kill pass. Not sure how well that's gonna go. Right, so he went into a little, little bit of that. He but he picked up a globe on on the way. Right, let's steal some life off of that Sylvanas. It's gonna be fine. She will wait right into my full flame. But you can see. So I'm using my D to get a little bit of mana back. God damn it. Nova's there. Nova's there. I mean, it's just a typical quick match, you know? You play and there's, you know, warrior, four assassins and no, no, uh, you know, no supports. It's just a, just a typical quick, quick match for you right there. 
On the sub range, I think I'm gonna go for improved life tap. So instead of 25% now, we will be for every life tap we'll be getting 35% mana. And on level one, we went for Echo Corruption, which if we hit 40 enemy, uh, uh, like 40 enemies with our Corruption, we will be um, we'll basically be able to reverse it. So when when we press E, it's gonna go you know away from you. Uh, it's gonna it's gonna go you know the the one closest to you, then the middle one, and the farthest away from you. And then it's gonna go back, far, farthest away from you, the middle one, and the closest one after that, which is, you know, which is just a huge buff in damage if you uh, if you ask me. Yeah, go on my corruption, bitch. All right, so I'm on my way to the bottom. Look, looks like the friendly team has a little bit of trouble with controlling this point. Right, they're just very vulnerable to anything that I have for them. Yeah, 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 go into my stuff. Go into my f my fell flame or whatever the f, f it's called. Yeah, man. I don't give a fuck about your f uh, about your uh, flame strike, bruh. Right, she's slowed. So if I do this, okay, I, I didn't hit anybody. I was close though. I was close. So you can see, you know, just some some obvious combos like you know, you can spend some of your uh, some of your mana. And then, you know, life tap, and then basically... Oh, she's dead. Yo, look at just that damage on that Nova. You know, yeah, so again, you can spend some of your mana, life tap, and then you come in here, and then you, you, you just, you know, just life steal the minions, you know? Just, you know, just some obvious combos like that. Oh, shit. Oh, that didn't hit me. Damn. Nice dodging skills, Kolo. All right. On this range, we are going to go for Bound by Shadow. When, whenever I hit a hero with my Q, the cooldown on my E is going to be decreased, which obviously is freaking sick, right? I know that. Oh fucking shit. Oh, she went only into two. If she went into three, she's taking additional damage. So again, that was a little bit bad of me just because I didn't expect that they have Sylvanas Kill pass and then Nova down in the bottom lane, but it's all my fault. It's all my fault. I should have just, you know, should have just uh, backed away, not really engaged into that Nova too hard, which I was, which I was doing. So we get the first objective of the game. You can see that we have this massive, massive Zergling push, and we are uh, on our way. Like nobody's going top, so I'm just gonna go top, grab some experience for our friendlies while they did not realize that we were some we were missing some also good for clearing, clearing lanes you can see bam clear, clearing lanes like a boss i'm not i'm not 100 sure why Gul'dan isn't picked in competitive just because he is a beast you know beast laner he can just bully somebody out of a lane very very quickly i mean he is a little bit you know more heavy on life than other characters just because he has to life tap but he's also good at sieging you can see i'm just dealing some uh, massive massive damage it's dot um, but again, nobody's going to be able to heal this. Um, the enemy team is not rotating at all, so I'm just going to keep standing here, keep dealing my damage. And now I'll come in here and try to steal some life. God damn it, he died before I could steal my all, all of my life. I'm actually dead, am I not? Yeah. Close! No, this tracer! Fuck that tracer! You guys saw it was very close. Anyway, we're gonna go for Horrify to 100% counter um, that tracer. And just basically, I can counter anybody, right? It's very good against Hard Engage, so Illidan, Butcher. Very, 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 very good against those. You wait up, un up until they're not unstoppable, you press that, and for three seconds, and they'll be running away from the center, which they were hit in that little uh, radius right there. It's, it has a pretty, you know, pretty nice cast range, so you can you, you can secure some kills all, all with it. You know, there's some nice plays you can do with it, right? You can do something like, you know, maybe basically put it behind them to make them run into your walls, or uh, maybe into your team, put it in front of them to make it run away from you. you know, just a bunch of different, uh, you know, uh, plays you can do that uh, that can really do a lot for your friendly team, right? 
and the enemy team is pushing this super hard I'm gonna try to do some uncontested damage to that Sylvanas and Tracer I'm gonna steal some life off of that Right, all done. Let's go. We got those guys. We got those guys. So Kelfast was here. Tracer was here. So I don't want to step out too much. Tracer looks like she is right next to Nova. Right, she's dead. Ooh, almost a kill. That kind of strike almost secured a kill on that Kelthas. On my way to the bottom shrine to also capture that for our friendly team. We have to be careful though because um, Kelthas is here. Arthas is not not you know not the biggest threat to us. As we will be able to damage him, and of course he has to get up close to us, up proportional, which allows us to steal some life off of him. So, you know, it doesn't make him that big of an issue. Uh, Gul'dan also very good against Illidan. Like, you know, he can basically survive... Uh, I mean, not, you know, not infinitely through Illidan's damage, but, uh, you know, most of the damage is going to be mitigated by my drain life. You know, just... Even for that three seconds, it sometimes makes a difference. On my way to hop to maybe help that chain a little bit. Okay, Nova is rotating there as well. Might be able to pick up a kill here on this uh, Sylvanas. Here, my skill shot. She's dead as f. Oh, I was good. She went. In, she went into uh, recall. Yeah, so she can recall, of course, out of my, you know, out of my drain life. But okay, looks like the enemy team did that. Picked it up. But if this guy is not careful, I can. I should be able to drain life off of him. Right, there it is. I need to drain up of, of something. Right, we got both of them. Now I'm going after this... Arthas. Looks like that won't be able to hit him, but that was close enough, close enough. Right, give me give me some of that healing. There we go, that's what I need. That's what I need. The enemy team doesn't rely too much on ability power. So I might go for increased healing on heroes. Just because I feel like I'll be able to do this constantly on Arthas and Tracer. Maybe just, just go for Hellstorm. Uh, I, I activate one, you know, my one ability, and I will be just able to... Oh, she didn't die? Oh, there we go. There's, there's a kill. Okay. She died. So our Nova goes down, our Alar goes down from the D.O.T. I need to be careful of that Nova. I'm gonna act activate Hellstone to just you know start up the ticking of that cooldown again, um, and in case we need to use it later. Uh, looks like they're getting bottom right at this moment. Uh, we're going to engage right on this Arthas, getting a little bit of uncontested damage, but looks like the enemy team will be getting the full Zerg push. So all of us should be rotating bottom. And trying to defend it, and then we're just gonna leave our Zergs to do their work up in the top. Again, Gul'dan very very good against uh, you know against like just pushes like that. So because I can you know I can just post up my I'm actually very very behind on um, on my quest questing talent from level one. Very very behind. I wasn't hitting that almost at all with this game. It's like the enemy team is just not clumping enough for me. To hit that, so to you know, to to start um, ranking up that skill shot. You know what I mean? That questing talent, rather. Right. So I'm constantly, you know, just life tapping, life tapping um, to get some health. Out. Looks like all of the enemy team just rotated to the top. Yeah. So it looks like we'll be trading fourth for. That's fine. Um, and then he kill pass rotating down below just to apply some pressure to us. Won't be able to do too much. If he's not careful enough, he's gonna get wrecked. It looks like that's not gonna happen today. Looks like he actually just bucked up because he's much wiser than I am. <laughs> um, the enemy team also pushed our our fort, so that was pretty. Um, you know, I actually um, 
what's, the, what's, what's the word I'm looking for? Suspected that. There we go. Um, what's, in, what's the enemy team do? The enemy team that are camp, so we can in, maybe invade theirs, but Nova is not with us. So I, I'm guessing we're just not feeling like uh, risking our entire team on that team fight. The enemy, sorry, the friendly Nova. That's the enemy Nova right there. If we keep her in our sights, she's dead. Good, 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 good. Right, so I just split uh, Arthas away from the enemy team right there. Basically allowing me... Ooh, nice! Nice, bruh. Nice. That was a very nice Gravitron bomb by uh, our friendly... Fr um, Zarya. That allowed, that allowed me to basically get all my cooldowns, you know, basically get my corruption straight back up because I was hitting the Fell Flame. You know, I was hitting three heroes with my Fell Flame all that time. It's just crazy. Uh, I'm gonna rotate tap to actually defend because we need to defend against this camp. Is it, yeah, this is very scary for us. Uh, Ruinous Reflection level 16. Again, if uh, basically every single circle will be dealing a little bit additional damage, and if, if anybody walks into all three circles, they're going to be taking if even more damage, which is pretty scary for um, for whoever walks into them. Again, I really want that Echo Corruption, but I don't think I'll be able to complete that in this game. Um, enemy, so enemy tracer actually is just backing away there very very wisely, and we will be getting the full push from the uh, from you know, from the zerglings. Easily, easily, right. Uh, we can definitely push with them just because it's, you know, this is a full push. Um, again, I'm gonna split the enemy team and focus the uh, Arthas here. One, two. He's taking shit ton of damage. That's, that's how much damage he's taking right now. That's Tracer right there, so I'm gonna try to hit my with all my skill shots. She looks like she just backed away because she just didn't have enough health. What I'm gonna do right here is try to hit that kill fast if he is not careful there we go there we go look at the damage he is taking crazy amounts of damage just like the tracer took out our other rock so i need to be damn careful up in here man damn careful we did take out the fort oh shit thank you thank you for that shield it wasn't necessary but it definitely saved us a little bit. Let's 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 get, let's get the fuck out. Oh my god! I, I dismounted like a like a noob. All right, let's get out of here. It looks like we do not have a healing fountain in the bottom lane. So what I might do? Uh, I'm just gonna go back. <laughs> you should never go back as Gul'dan just because you can you can drain life. But I don't really feel safe with the tracer and the Nova on the enemy team. Where you know they can come in, wreck my day. And just get out with a, you know, basically with a, a jail free card, out of jail free card. Sorry. So there's that Nova I was talk is talking about. The enemy team is engaging right at this moment. Venus Gravitron, Gravitron Search is going to secure few kills up here and allow me to land uh, my corruption. Goddamn! Another amazing Gravitron bomb, grabbing almost the entire enemy team, allowing me to. Basically, almost fully stuck my, you know. Um, oh, she's dead. Ooh, finishing her up with that corruption. Obviously, I think that wasn't needed. But I'm not. I'm not sure if we can do this. Oh, I'm not sure if we can do this. I'm not sure if we can do this. Oh, okay, Zara's here, so now we might be able to. All right, I'm gonna start draining this guy. Now, hit him with the corruption. You can see how much DOT he's taken. You know, of course, bosses have crazy amounts of damage. So, again, another drain up here. And we got it. We got it, boys and girls. Good. Honestly, Gul'dan has become one of my favorite, favorite assassins to play. Even though he's not the most reliable. You know, because, of course, you know, you, you kind of uh, depend on your... Um, on your corruption hitting and people uh, you know, retreating away from you, it's really easy to sidestep. You know his skill shots. Like for example, if I'm running away from a Gul'dan who's standing right there, uh, if he's if I see him doing corruption, I can just sidestep. He's you know, and I can just dodge his skill shots like that. Um, one very good thing that corruption has going for it 
is that it doesn't have too much of a um, like visual indicator that you know that, that it's actually going off. So sometimes when I'm playing against the Gulam and, and I die, I'm like, "What the fuck just killed me?" I have to actually go into the you know the death recap screen and see what dealt damage. I'm like, "Oh, that's what that's what, that was corruption." Just because I didn't see it, just because you know the visual indicator on that crap, you know, is just not big enough for me to see. I know I know I wear glasses, but you know, it's still it's still pretty annoying. It's it's, it's still you know like like some ninja skill shots and stuff. And I'm gonna go for demonic circle, and I'm probably gonna put it right meow here. So Demonic Circle is going to do, I can basically blink to anywhere that I put this Demonic Circle at. So if I'm here and I press 3, I will just reappear right there. So very, very good, good disengage. I'm going to actually come in here and try to deal a little bit of damage to this enemy team. And they just kept walking into my Corruption. My Corruption now is fully stacked. Um, there's... Uh... There's, there's my corruption, and that's going to be obviously now it's actually echoing back, so it's actually going to be dealing quite a lot of damage. That um, fear, my sec there we go, it secures a kill on this enemy um, Sylvanas, but the obviously the enemy team is retreating right now. This artist actually went into a lot of my corruption, so he's taking a lot of DOT at the moment. Nice, nice. I'm gonna activate my health stone to get some health back, and we can just win this game, boys and girls. At least we should be able to. Oh my god, look at the corruption. Look at the corruption, just go. Look at the corruption, go. God damn. God damn, man. He's dead. He's dead AF. I'm gonna get some health. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. I don't wanna die. I don't wanna die at, you know, at, at the last second, right? I'm gonna use the corruption. Um, you know, the corruption damage also applies to structure. So if I hit the structure with, you know, with all three shots, of course, it's not that, not, not that hard to do. I'm gonna die probably. I don't know. I actually... I was actually going to activate my teleporter demonic circle. So I wouldn't have died, but... It's gonna be GG anyway. Nice quick game with with um, Gul'dan, really sorry, Luldan. <laughs> uh, that's his new nickname, Gul'dan, aka Luldan. How is she MVR? Oh, just because she didn't die, of course, of course. Gul'dan, best killing spray. And my rule from now on is I cannot upvote myself. So if I played well, I will be recognized by the team. If I didn't play well enough, well, I'm not gonna upvote myself. Jaina looks like she has. Gathered six votes. Super good. It's like we will be getting level eight in that final skin tent. And going over the build again. I think I was at the top of the uh, hero damage and the siege damage when I last looked at the leaderboards. Huh. Which means she probably either uh, she didn't overtake me on the um, on the you know siege damage, but she did, she probably did on the hero damage. That's why she was an MVP as well. So I actually still like that that much better. Yeah, I, li I like the middle one better. Anyway, let's go over the talents again. Again, so the talents are gonna are going to change a little bit when you face a melee assassin, Kerrigan. Of course, she she's gonna be able to displace you uh, when you're when you're draining life. But you want to wait for all of her displacement to be gone, and then you can drain life, you know, pretty safely. So you're probably more safe when she uses her combo on somebody else. Again, Illidan doesn't have any displacements, or you know, up until level ten, where he has the hunt. If he has the hunt, and he's going to use it to um, basically stop your stop you channeling, you know, your uh, your drain life on him, you're in a good position just because you used one of his, you know, one of his bigger cooldowns. You know what I mean? Um, and he'll, he's also going to be very susceptible to you casting your um, your E, casting your um, corruption, and also you know basically. So there's a combo which I didn't tell you. When somebody is on you, like for example, uh, let's say Illidan, you cast Haunt on yourself. You know your your heroic. You cast it on yourself. He runs away from you. Like he does, he doesn't control. He's just running away, and then you cast corruption, so he walks into all three, um, you know, all three circles, and it's actually very, 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 you know, just surprising amounts of damage. Uh, I wasn't able to show showcase this off in this video just because they didn't have a you know a melee assassin that could could do that that would be on me like Kerrigan, like Illidan, and and others, or like a, even the panda, even even Chen. Um, but um, 
yeah, but again, that's the combo, which I might also try to showcase it off in a different video. Anyway, I'm level 1 with for Echo Corruption, it just allows us to get more damage on the field once we get the, the quest finished. So you need to hit 40 heroes with your Corruption to increase. Uh, after the third strike, Corruption strikes three times in the opposite direction, so it goes away from you and then three times back to you. Um, on the four, we went for improved, improved life tab, but I can see how health funnel can very be super super good. So what this does is, when you kill a target who you were draining draining life from, the cooldown of it is instantly refreshed. It's actually super good because it's, it's a ten second cooldown, right? So you can stand in the lane, you know, basically kill uh, an enemy minion with your you know with your W. Wait up, up until he's like half health. Start channeling your your W, kill him with it, and move on to you know another minion. This gives you a lot of sustain, but improved life tap again allows you to life tap less, which means you will be able to which is going to allow you to use less life on life tapping. If you see what I mean. On level seven, I went for the uh, bound by shadow, but keep reducing the the cooldown again. Just trying to stack my level one, and also at the end in the end game, increasing my damage the, you know, in a in a very very big manner just because what i do is i hit my q constantly you know it's a 1.5 second cooldown so if i hit you know at least one what is it by every hero yeah every hero hit by it is it is reducing it by one second so you know this is a 14 second cooldown uh, used to be 16 now it's 14. um that was that was one of the buffs by the way so you know i hit like two heroes for like you know three times that's already half of the cooldown almost half of the cooldown gone you see what i mean so you know it allows you to get a lot more damage i know there's a corruption talent on this t t tier but it's just not good enough it's just when it expires when the corruption expires then you apply the slow which is like you know the, the damage over time can actually go on for quite a long time um so i just find like and, you know, just just doing just just doing more corruptions is much better than you know just than waiting for a slow. On level ten, I went for horrify. Reign of destruction is a joke, over you know over ultimate. It is like it's like Hearthstone in Heroes of the Storm. You it's basically just the random random meteors running you know just falling from the sky and dealing a little bit a little bit of area damage. Um, but the thing is, you have to cast it. You have to be channeling, channeling it for seven seconds, which makes you vulnerable to any, you know, any kind of abilities like pyroblast, like you know, just Illidan just uh, stopping your channel, anyone stopping your channel for seven seconds. Your team has to focus on you, basically staying safe, which is just not good in the quick match scenario, right? And horrifying, on the other hand, is that hard CC that you can use almost all the time to, you know, to split enemy team in the team fight to um, get enemies away from you, to run enemies into your team, you know, so you see what I mean? To disengage. So many uses just go for the Horrify every single time, unless you're trolling your team and you really want to lose. Then you go for Reign of Destruction. On level 13, um, Health Stone is a good one. Harvest Life would be a good one if you went for a level 4 Health Funnel, just because it, it, it increases your healing from Drain Life when you use it on heroes. And it's by 50%, which is pretty huge. It makes you even better against someone like Illidan. I went for Health Stone just because I, I feel like it's better if I went for, you know, for the improved life tap. Just, I click and I just get health back, you know? It's just as easy as, easy as that. Against Li Ming, against at least two, at least two casters, uh, two ability damage heroes, I would go for Fe uh, Fel Armor where you hit somebody for two point, uh, with your Q, for 2.5 seconds you'll be taking 40% less damage from, from a build damage, which is pretty damn huge because you'll be hitting this every single 1.5 seconds, hopefully. Um, so you can, you know, in a team fight, this could be, you know, just a constant flat 40% reduction on the ability damage, which is pretty huge. 16, I went for Ruinous Affliction, the only one good on this, uh, you know, on this, uh, for this build. When you're going for, like, you know, for the Health Funnel, and then you go for, um, you know, Harvest Life, I'll probably go for Rampant Hellfire, just because it gives you quite a lot of, um, quite a lot of damage, you know. It stacks up to five times, and it's eight, you know, it adds damage to your Q every time you hit somebody with it, you know, for five seconds. So when you you, you keep hitting somebody, it goes up to, you know, the 40% increase damage, you know what I mean? It's pretty, it's pretty damn sick. Uh, but I went for Rina's Affliction, you know, just every single this, on one of the circles deals additional damage, which, which again, hello, hello, Phronic. 
Give me your tail. <laughs> right. Um, yeah. So again, when you when you finish the quest, it's just going to naturally, you know, deal. Instead of doing three circles, it's going to be doing six circles. So again, every single one. Uh, does more damage and when somebody walks into the third strike into all three strikes he's going to be taking additional like 233 which is just crazy at the end like it's going to be taking such a crazy amount of damage at the end if he goes into all three circles it is quite ridiculous so it runs affliction if you're going for a corruption build even only at level one i would still go for you know for ruins of affliction here just because it's so so goddamn good and level 20 you can go for the haunt this is much more of a team fight based um kind of talent and what it, uh, it increases the duration which you know which they run away from the circle uh, you know, from the center of where you cast it uh, by one second so they'll be running for four seconds which is pretty damn huge you know a huge cc if you ask me and then you they will also be vulnerable during that time so you can really cast it on the back line make him run into you and just delete them from the end uh, from from the world from the arena but i went for a little bit of a better talent in my opinion um it was good against Tracer. Tracer would be on my ass all that time. You saw at the end, I was just going to use it. I didn't actually show it to you how it looks. So you put it on the ground, basically, you know, just a little bit of time before, and then you can activate the teleport to Demonic Circle to basically have like a very, very long range. You know, you can basically go from one end of the map to the other if you place, you know, your, um, your Demonic Circle over there. So let's say, um, you place your demonic circle in, you know, in your hearthstone, in you know, in your, where you actually heal in your base. That means you're going to be getting a free instant, you know, basically um, just channel back. You know, you're not going to have to press B. You just press two, bam, you're back in the base healing. You see what I mean? Um, so again, it's very, very good for disengaging. Very, very good for you know, for really getting assassins off your back. For you know, for just, just overall for survival, not really good for you know, for like maybe uh, teleporting into the fight just because you can't use it, you know, as a, um, aggressively as you could with a bolt of the storm just because you have to place it before you use it. That's why it's you know, it's a little bit different than that. It's, it can be more used to uh, disengage than engage, of course. If you're like, you know, like the if you're like some some kind of um, guy in seeing into the future. Um, like a seer or something, then you can see where the team fight is gonna go. Then sure, maybe you can actually uh, place uh, the, the demonic circle there, wait for the fight to happen, and then maybe you know teleport behind the enemy lines. But we're not gonna even gonna get into that, just because I use it for disengage, and it's only meant to be used for that. So anyway, this has been Lul Dan, aka Gul'dan. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, and I definitely think you did. Um, slap that like rating if you haven't already subscribed to the channel and one more thing I want to say is that I'll be doing a giveaway for cooldown but I'll be making a different video for that probably recording it tomorrow and I'm going to also re release it tomorrow there's going to be a giveaway on cooldown all the rules are going to be in the video tomorrow so stay tuned for that stay tuned if you want to basically save like this guy is like ten dollars so if you get if you guys want to save ten dollars and you know basically get rewarded for watching my awesome videos there you go. So again, thank you guys for watching again. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace on the motherfucking streets. Bye.